No man is above the law. It behooves you to remember that. Hello and welcome back to Civilization VI and we are continuing our war with Egypt here. They are... looks like they're kind of pulling back here actually. We're about to take out that chariot archer in the next turn, thankfully. They'll never get a chance to get a ranged attack on this city. Nice, and I have an archer in this city as well now. Let's see, let's continue our attack on him. And you're dead. And you're dead. That's right. Okay, choose production in Miro Settler. Yeah, I want that iron. So a settler would not be a bad idea. Although, come to think of it, I shouldn't go with a settler right now. Let's go with the spearman. I need more military. Oh, okay, so I can build that. Okay. Plus one production. And that gives me food as well. Four food and three production. Awesome. Egypt, what exactly was your plan here? You just kind of sent a couple warriors at me not really knowing what you were doing. Maybe they didn't anticipate me having city walls. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Fuck. Damn it, I did not want to send out my uh, units. Oh, their amenities are low. They need a luxury resource. Come to think of it, yeah, why did I... Hey, he's healed. Awesome. Come to think of it, why did I put the city right here knowing there was no luxury resources nearby? That was pretty stupid of me. come to think of it again let's see yeah if I put a city here I think I one two three I'll be able to get mercury and if there's something right here that I don't know about yet I could get that as well production do another campus would not be a bad idea do I have the money to purchase that tile that would be three. Oh hell yeah Purchase. Yes. Now, I have nothing to pillage, really. Well, actually, I could pillage the uh, campus. Or their marble. Do I want to try pillaging their tiles? I mean, I don't know if I want to try that. Use the city attack on him first, and then use that. And attack him. This might entirely wipe out their military right here, actually. Okay, what to do with the slinger? Send him a little further west, I suppose. Discover the rest of southern Africa. Since I can't really get him back up north. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Uh oh. No! I already lost one of my units. That's lame. La 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 lame. La 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 lame. Slinger. Oh, oh my god, that is the most annoying thing about this game. Okay, let's weaken him. Then maybe he won't attack. Oh, yeah, yeah, if I weaken him, he might not try attacking my bowman. Do I want to go with... What do I want to go with here? 
horseback riding could get me construction, but I don't really need that. God, I could probably use machinery more than anything. Eh. Figure I'll go with, uh... Well. God, I don't need harbors yet. Guess I'll go with sailing. I mean, it's only gonna take me three turns to get, so... Why not? All right, got that spearman. Send him out. Now I need a builder so I can repair my shit. It's gonna take five turns. Uh, northwest. And it's saying next turn, why? Oh, it's uh, automated to move there. No, thank you. Cancel. Uh, that'll destroy him, but I need to worry about that. Let's move back, and then we'll take him out. I've got that spearman, so that I think the spearman can work against the chariot archer. And the warrior. I could attack him. Move him closer and then attack. And then we'll move my spearman up too. It's interesting. He's got his capital in the north here, but he seems to be sending most of his units from the south and the west. Uh, my unit might get attacked. Next turn. Ooh, I think... Yes, I have an envoy. Okay. Well, that was actually perfectly timed. I already have one with Kumasai. I don't remember... S oh, I must have completed a quest for them. Well, Kumasai... Oh, wow. Kumasai is actually closer to Egypt, but... Zanzibar is closer to me, so I'll send that there, and that should count as two, right? Yep, that did count as two. Awesome. Okay. And the civics tree, I got defensive tactics. Oh. Yeah, let's go with drama and poetry, get that theater district. Now, I should be able to change my policies change that plus two influence points per turn towards earning city-state envoys 100% production towards defensive buildings plus six city defense strength and plus five city ranged strength uh, I think I'd rather keep up with the production for my ranged and melee units and the reducing the unit maintenance what technology? I guess I'll go with astrology. That'll only take one turn. Then I can work on celestial navigation later. I think I might work on machinery next. Although, I don't know if I want to get rid of these archers right away. I mean, it's kind of unfortunate that they become obsolete so quickly. Um, 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 what do I want to do? I should definitely send someone in to try and sabotage this encamp- or not encampment, but this campus. Holy shit, that got him kind of weakened. Okay, let's uh, retreat. Move him in. Oh, there's that stupid scout again.
And he attacked the archer. And he attacked the archer too. Frick. Uh-oh. Oh, it's just a range unit. Not too worried about that. Oh, you want peace now, huh? Three gold per turn. And nine gold and marble. Not quite yet. I mean, I know I need to declare peace eventually, because I'm sure my cities are... Yeah. Moreau is displeased at this point. And they've got negative one war weariness, so I do need to worry about that. Now, can I... Damn it, not enough movement points. Well, maybe if I move them in, I could distract them. How much gold do I have? 158. I hope that's enough to purchase. Nope, just a scout. I need at least 280 for a Patati Archer. And 260 for a Spearman. So that's going to take me quite a while to get. Damn. It'll probably be faster just to produce it after this uh, builder is done. Mmm. Go with shipbuilding so that way I can actually start improving some of the other resources. Nothing over here, actually, but I think I might. No, nothing down here, actually. What about. Oh, yeah, the rubber. If I get that rubber, then I'll need shipbuilding, of course. And if I get the sugar. Ooh, you know what? Come to think of it. I want that sugar maple, damn it. Oh, oh no, I need to wait. Ah, I need to wait like six more turns. Or three more turns, I believe. Yeah, about three, maybe four more turns. <clears throat> Damn it, I really wanted to pillage that campus. I'm fully, I'm still fully dedicated to doing it, too. I'm going to try it with the Spearman now. He might not be able... Oh, nope. Nope, not enough points. Okay, let's fortify him. Next turn. And he's attacking. And I know the city's going to attack. Wait. Did the warrior really attack? Wow, the warrior attacked me. Yeah, and then the city's going to attack, probably. It didn't? Okay, that was really lucky the city didn't attack me. Because he definitely would have died. Pillage! Haha! <laughs> and I know I'm gonna lose him. Okay. I need him to chill there for a minute because that chariot archer is gonna take him the second he steps out. I'm gonna do the Patati archer. I'll only take three turns. And skip turn, next turn. Was that a barbarian? What was that? Yeah, he's dead now. <laughs> I still pillaged that, though. 7 gold per turn and 20 gold. And marble. Okay, she won't give me the marble now, but uh, whatever. I kind of want peace now. I just wanted to pillage that, <laughs> that uh, campus. And I succeeded. Okay, so now I don't need to wait for that. So I think what I'm going to do here is send my builder to the wheat, then to the mercury, then up here to the iron. I would love to get this slinger back home. I think after I, I, after I discover a decent amount down here, I might just delete him and get more revenue. I'm almost at 30 gold per turn. Pretty close. Still only have one trade route available. Yeah, we'll send him a little bit further north there, see if I can get that strip uncovered, then... Well, I mean, it's not like I'm gonna ever go down their cities. I'm totally blocked off at this point, but... I still have this chunk of land right here I can settle. 
And this little chunk right here, basically. If I do a city here, that'll essentially cut him off from, you know, going straight down to his other city. Essentially, he's going to have to go around. <clears throat> oh, wait, why am I saying he? Cleopatra is a girl. Okay, repair. That's really nice that the repairs don't take up the builds, too. I believe I have enough gold to purchase that tile. I'm going to have to wait until next turn, though. Okay, let's send him south. Production in Miro. Water mill would not be a bad idea. Hmm. You know, the Apadana would not be a bad idea. Commercial hub. At some point, I need to finish that commercial hub. Oh, do I want that settler... Gosh, the Mercury is just out of range of Moreau, so if I do put a city down right here, one, two, three, yeah, it'll, the Mercury will be in range at least. I think I'll go with that Settler. Man, my cities are going to be a little cramped around here. Library, Granary, oh, one and negative one amenity, huh? Yeah, there's only the, wait. I get one in a minute, but I've got two coffee. How? Entertainment complex would not be a bad idea. Do that there. And uh, I don't believe I have enough gold to purchase that tile. Nope, it's 135. Oh, six out of six away. Damn. And I'll send him out just to make sure that area is clear. And I want to have him go a little further west to see if there's any luxury resources I could snag up there. Because if there's something closer up there, then I'll settle the city like over here rather than down here. And Archer. Oh yeah, he was healing. Um... I mean, it would be a good idea to send him back down here. But I think I want him in the capital. For now. And repair. Oop, not move. Not move. <laughs> I hit that by accident. Repair. Wow, they can move quite a distance. It's pretty cool. So these, I've got three limestone out here. Nice. What does that provide? Oh, wow. Culture and production. That's not bad. So having a city here would get a culture boost. And the builder's done there. Okay, let's go up here, use up his first build. Then we're going to go... Ooh, the platinum. Can I purchase the platinum from here? Yes. I'd rather get that at the moment. And go get the iron, then the platinum, then the aloe. Oh, jeez. Lots of aloe in the desert, apparently. Limestone. No more uh, oases out there. Uh oh. Damn. Okay. I think. Oh, actually, I could. I might be able to take them on now, but probably not. Either way, I think if they do die, it still gives me more gold per turn. <laughs> Recorded history. 100% campus district adjacency bonus. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Military training and an envoy. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with military training. Get that envoy. Get that envoy. Send it down to Zanzibar. Then I can uh, become their suzerain. 
That way, if Nzinga declares war on me, I'll have a friendly force right next door to them. They'll act as a pretty good buffer, too. So, yeah, there's... Oh, there is ivory out there. Damn. So, I've got that guy coming out in five turns. What? Let's see. Settler. Yeah, there's nothing decent over here, except for right there, but that's... Again, that's right next to the this city, essentially. I could do a... Oh, you know what? I could do a spot right here. That platinum is three tiles away exactly. I could get that. I could get the mercury. I could get two platinum and the mercury and the whales. And I could even get this mercury across the channel if I get enough tiles in time. And if I do it in time, I could close off this straight be able to travel freely through there that's yeah i think i actually found my next spot for my settler because i'm i'm not overly confident about settling him next to an oasis at the moment that's a little too close to these cities it's not too different over here but it's better i think i'll send the archer that way just to secure it and if I do a city right here where the trees are, then I can do a campus right here. Get plus two science. What does he want? He wants my coffee and open borders for one gold per turn. Uh, no. No. Not doing that. I don't even really want your horses. I'll do the nine gold per turn. But yeah, I'll be able to put a campus down right there. That'll get plus two science. Then maybe put down a harbor right there. Actually, no, 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 no. I could do an econ economic district? What is it called? And there he goes. A commercial hub, that's it. I could put a commercial hub right there, then put a harbor right there. Nice, I've got this city all planned out ahead of time. Horseback riding, uh, machinery, Cel I'll go Celestial Navigation, so I can get the harbors, because I'm going to get that eventually. Let's see what's further up here. And he can't move no more. What do we got going on? Archer. Anything suspicious? Nothing suspicious over there so far. Let's see. Go north. Go west. There is a whole shit ton of resources in the desert that nobody is going to be able to access. At least not until the later part of the game, I think. They're both still declared friends. Okay, that's good. Okay. Take up the first build there. Now let's go a little north this time. Oh, there's Valletta. Okay, good. Still nothing there. Settler's going to be done in two turns. Military training in six, and I'll get that envoy. And I've almost... Nice, I almost have, let's see, it's plus 5 influence points per turn, 62 points. And I get another envoy at 100, so that is 33 points remaining. So that's going to be 7 turns. Should be 7 turns. And I'll get that in 5, that'll give me another envoy. So nice, I'm going to get quite a bit of envoys, or 2 envoys here pretty pretty soon. And unless someone has already uh, become suzerain to them, then they might be mine. Okay, do the platinum next. Oh, and there's Carthage. One thing this game definitely needs to add more of is more uh, indigenous, like, American civilizations. Like, I gotta wonder why the Iroquois 
weren't in this game by default or even the Cherokee the Cherokee had actually made their own like constitution and had their own drawn out borders with the United States and all that so I am a tad surprised that the Cherokee haven't actually been included in any of the I mean they weren't in five and I'd never really played any of the games before that so I wouldn't know about them but personally I would like to see more American civilizations at least, like, you know, the real major ones, like the Inca and the Mayans. I don't because I don't believe the Mayans are in this game, even. It's just the Aztecs. Oh, what do I want? Commercial hub? Yeah, let's finish that commercial hub. It's seven turns. Not too bad. Oh my god, why is the production so bad up here? Oh, man. Let's go with ancient walls. N Ooh, actually, I need housing, so I'm going to go with the granary. <clears throat> I've got 286 gold. I think I can purchase that tile now. Because I would like to get some sugar maple. Sugar maple, baby. Kasumi, give me the sugar maple. They have units all over the place. What is going on? I could already get cartography. Holy hell. That's like 22 turns out, but still, I can get it already. That's uh, pretty fast. I'm going to go with horseback riding. Even though I don't think there's any horse resources anywhere around me, I might as well get it. Because I know there's other resources ahead of it that I'll need, or resources, there's other technologies ahead of it that I'm going to need uh, to research that for. And the builder, he's at the platinum. Okay. Nice. Okay, so I got platinum. Is it going to that city or is it going to that city? I gotta wonder. You got the platinum, so then... Wait, what does the aloe provide? Is it going to show me? Plus one science, plus one food. I'll go there and see what improvement goes there and then see what that improvement does. Jeez, they're already getting up missionaries. Oh yeah, they have a religion. And you sit sit pretty right there. Man, there's a lot of limestone. Although it makes sense being around mountains, I suppose. Isn't... Was there sandstone in this as well? I would think sandstone would be around here a lot. If it was in this. Choose a new civic. That got me an envoy. Uh, going with monarchy wouldn't be a bad idea eventually although merchant republic also wouldn't be a bad idea because yeah, I mean it doesn't give me more than it gives me one military policy but I can use the two extra for other military policies then use the envoy points for that one diplomatic policy. So I think I might switch it up to a Merchant Republic when I get to it. I'm still not sure if I want to do... Th uh, damn, what was that one? Was it Mysticism? Yeah, I think uh, Mysticism. Mysticism gives me another Envoy to use. Okay, let's send another Envoy to Zanzibar. And they are now my homeboys. Wait, why aren't they? Um, I have three. Oh, wait, I think you need to have six to uh, get their line of sight or whatever it is. Um, What can I build in Kasumu? Another builder wouldn't be a bad idea. Get that sugar maple improved.
Archer. There is a barbarian in your sights. Okay, what is this going to do? That'll be plus two gold added to it and 0.5 housing. So that'll be... Oh, come on. Show me what you got. Why isn't this tile showing me what it's got? There we go. Plus one science, plus one food, and then plus two gold. Mm, I don't know about that. Yeah, fuck it. I'll do it. More science and gold. It's uh, always useful, I guess. And of course, oh wow, I'm getting 30 gold right now, but I'm definitely going to go back to Zanzibar because that's, that's a lot of gold right there. <laughs> More than any other city, damn it. And, oh yeah, he just needs to sit there. Next turn. Yes, I know. You don't need to keep telling me. I'm weak. Oh yeah, well, 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 nice hair! Jerk. I showed you. No, I will show you. <laughs> yeah, who's the weak one? You attacked me with like three times the uh, size of a uh, military and you horribly lost, so... Go fuck yourself. Nice, okay, so I got Napada. 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 Mathematics, huh? Oh, Petra. And Petra would not be a bad idea to build because I have desert tiles. Choose production in Napada. Go with the builder. I will buy a builder because I can. Get that shit. And I can't get a harbor just yet. So I'm going to go with the granary. Get a little more housing. Kill that asshole. I don't want to lose another archer, damn it. Yeah, that kind of has me thinking, like, maybe, uh, maybe I should research machinery and get crossbowmen faster here. Alright, well, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a thumbs up, and if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave them down below in the comment section. Hope you have a great day, and peace out.